Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And we survived the hurricane. Actually, it wasn't that severe here. And my antennas survived the hurricane. Hurricane? Hurricane? Can't even talk anymore. Until this morning. I went out to the uh, front yard to check uh, my wildlife camera. I like to capture uh, the birds and stuff on a camera. And lo and behold, one of my antennas was laying down on the ground. And I did some investigation of what happened, thinking maybe that uh, the rope had broke that holds it up or something. And this is what I found. It probably doesn't show up very good because it's black. Turn on its side here. This is the insulator that goes on the end of the antenna. And the antenna uh, wraps around one end, this end, and then uh, then a rope. And I'm using not I used heavy nylon rope because the lighter nylon rope I was using before would break after about three months. I'm using heavy nylon rope, and I found the rope on the ground, and you could see where I had looped it and tied it on this end. Let me get you a little close up there. That the rope had been chewed through. And I don't know if it shows up on my camera very well. The end of this had been chewed. And the other end, which has the antenna, the wire that looped in tied on here had been chewed. A squirrels had <laughs> killed my antenna installation. So the antenna survived the hurricane, but it didn't survive the squirrels. Why, this is such a mystery to me, is why squirrels eat into insulation. This is um, some kind of hard plastic. And it, you know, it's just, a, it's just a rope hanging there, wrapped around a branch. And the squirrels chewed the heck out of this and eventually chewed through the rope. And the antenna fell down, and this was still connected to the antenna end. So i got to go reinstall it this morning. So I thought I'd show you that. It's kind of comical, although it's kind of a nuisance. We have a lot of squirrels in our neighborhood, uh, a lot of birds in our neighborhood. And this is the uh, perils of such a situation. The other problem I have, I'm going to ramble here a little bit, is I typically put up a small garden. Um, tomatoes, peppers, other things. And this year, I planted one in the spring, in like March, April. And it was doing pretty good. And then as soon as the fruit came out, something was taking a single bite out of each piece of fruit. Not the whole thing, just a single. It was like they were sampling it. And it was a single bite, pretty good-sized bite. I did put my wildlife camera in the backyard around my garden. And sure enough, there's a possum in this neighborhood. That's just, it just takes a little nibble so it ruins the fruit. And he got, got my cucumbers, got everything. So I was very disappointed. But anyway, I digress. Um, again, I'm going to have to restring my antenna back up again and uh, see how long it lasts this time. Maybe I, I want to use rope. Um, the rope I used, like I said, was a tie cord. It was uh, not tie cord. It was paracord. Pretty strong stuff. And he chewed right through it. So anyway, that's the show for today. If you enjoyed my show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. You know, it's. The weather's really getting nice, at least here in Florida. Bye-bye.